Hey, I'm Alicia.Eaf and I'm going to run you through the first proposal that is on Snapshot for the ENS DAO and just where to find everything and hopefully encourage you to vote. A really good starting place when you're looking to do anything to do with the ENS DAO is to go to the ENS.domains website and then you click on governance in the menu. It will take you to this beautiful governance page. So if you haven't claimed your ENS airdrop yet, you can click on this button, it will take you to the claim website. Uh, and the forum, the discourse forum, which is where all of the conversation around proposals happens, um, you can just click on this box and it will take you there. And then the documentation, I also just want to quickly click on because it's a really good home base in terms of all of the links that you might need to access that relate to governance. I will just quickly link to the um, the forum, which is where the discussion takes place. It's where the proposal was put forward by FireEyes DAO. Cool. So meta governance is um, the category that this proposal relates to. It will be an active proposal. So you can just click that link. And this is a social proposal. It's this one. Okay, so it actually goes straight to the bottom and the most recent post but I'm just going to quickly drag it to the top so you can see this is the summary of the proposal it steps out what each proposal relates to and then there is a bunch of there are 57 replies and it'll take you about 15 minutes to read through everything but there are some really good questions asked and um, I think that Nick does a really great job of elaborating and giving a bit more context about what this all means um, so someone, Daylondra A said, this is essentially a symbolic first step then, right? And um, it's absolutely not a symbolic first step. There are a lot of substantive powers that are being transferred um, in this proposal if it was to all be approved. Um, so it is certainly not just like fur appearances. There are real powers at stake. Brantley, who is the, the delegate with the most voting power, um, says, I support this proposal and would vote to approve it in its current form. This is what it looks like when you go to snapshot.org. You can see ENS here with 15,000 members. So I've joined ENS. So you just click on the logo. You'll see all the proposals. There's one active proposal by FireEyes DAO. Okay. And so it helps to connect your wallet if you're looking to vote. And this just runs through your proposal again. Okay, so I'm just going to cast my vote. Okay, so if it has this black line around it, that means that I approve it. So this vote is conducted via approval voting. So you select each option you wish to see pass. The option must have at least 50% support and 1% quorum when voting ends uh, to pass. And so by clicking something, I am approving it by leaving it unchecked or not clicking it um, so like if I didn't want to approve anything I would just leave it all unclicked and click vote but I am going to click the first two um, proposals I guess and then click vote so it says are you sure you want to vote this action can't be undone I think something interesting to note here um, just with the wording of this is like this action for this vote cannot be undone but you can go and vote again so if i wake up tomorrow morning um, because voting is still open for another two days i think if i wake up tomorrow morning and i think oh no actually i do just want to approve all four of these proposals i can sign in again and i can vote again to approve all four and my current vote which i'm about to submit will be overwritten and so even though it says this action cannot be undone, that kind of relates just specifically to that vote, but you can vote again and it would overwrite whatever your current vote is. So my options are for one and two, uh, and my voting power is 3.79 thousand ENS, which means that some people have delegated to me, so thank you very much whoever delegated to me. I appreciate your confidence, and because I know that I, I think from my airdrop had like 400 ENS, so that was really surprising to me. Uh, okay, I'm gonna hit vote. So I've connected my wallet, so it will just pop up in the MetaMask and I'll have to sign a transaction. Uh, remember the thing about Snapshot is that it is off chain and so it is gasless. So I can then just click sign. 
my vote is in. Hooray. That is an example of what it's like to walk through voting on the NSDAO. If you have been airdropped responsibility and you did self-delegate, then uh, you, like I said, you have two more days to um, log into Snapshot and vote on that proposal. I would definitely recommend going through the uh, conversation on the forum because it is really great to get an idea of what everyone's thinking and um, and just get a better understanding of what is being proposed as well. If you have any questions at all, um, you can always jump into the Discord. Our Discord, you can join through chat.ans.domains uh, and ask any questions. We have a DAO chat channel. Um, if there's anything else, you can always hit me up on Twitter. My DMs are open. Okay, 